talk about five levels of learning, which is imagine this kid. Now, what happens on level one? Level one, they are asking a set of questions. Level two, they are asking a question. Why happens? Including when you're sitting with me, you're asking, what does this mean to me? What am I feeling? What do I do? Everybody asks this question. Almost everybody. Okay, good. So let me give you one example about learning itself. As you're sitting with me here, I talk about five levels of learning, which is imagine this kid. So most people talk about four levels of learning. So in the four levels of learning, imagine if you're a two-year-old, you don't know that you don't know how to drive. When you're a two-year-old, you're like, okay, I don't know how to drive, but I don't know that I don't know how to drive. That's, you know, that is unconscious incompetence. I don't know that I don't know how to drive. Then you like, like four or five, you're like, daddy know how to drive, mommy know how to drive. And I don't know how to drive. Okay. The next step is 16 years old, I'm trying to get my driver's license. And then I, I try to start learning how to drive, which is, I know that I know. And the next step is, after some time, you're like, you're really good at driving. You're like, I don't know that I'm driving because I'm so good in driving. And, and then the next step is, you, you have this in your deepest of your soul. Your soul is resonating with driving that you forget that you're doing. Your body and your mind forget that you're driving completely. Like you are in the fifth level. You are mastering that in a soul level. And why did I say that? And most of you already know what I'm talking about. You're really good at driving. You're like, I don't know that I'm driving because I'm so good in driving. And, and then the next step is, you, you have this in your deepest of your soul. Your soul is resonating with driving that you forget that you're doing. Your body and your mind forget that you're driving completely. Like you are in the fifth level. You are mastering that in a soul level. And why did I say that? And most of you already know what I'm talking about. Now, what happens on level one? Level one, they are asking a set of questions. Level two, they are asking a question. Why does mom know how to drive? And I don't know how to drive. It's a question. Do you see that? The third level, they are asking another question. Oh, mom knows how to drive. I know how to drive. And, and then I'm asking, how do I change steering wheel? How do I change my gear? How do I, how, how do I turn that way? How do I, you know, check the mirror? How do I make sure that the grandma is not dead when I'm driving? And all kind of stuff. Those are all questions too. And then you move to the next level. So do you see that? So every skill learning is a progression. Uh, we have a term called prime questions. So what does that mean? It means... There is a question that you are asking all the time that is either limiting you or moving you to the next level. But keep in mind, your brain is conditioned to ask these three questions that I'm sharing here already. This, we all are asking this question. Whenever something happens, including when you're sitting with me, you're asking, what does this mean to me? What am I feeling? What do I do? Everybody asks this question. Almost everybody asks this question. What does this mean to me as humans? What am I feeling? What do I do? So if you look at it, these three questions are from different brain parts. What does this mean to me is a purple question. The purple brain is asking, what does this mean to me? Can you tell me? And the emotional brain, which is saying, what am I feeling? And then the the crocodile brain, the red part of your brain is like, what do I do? Because that only knows how to do stuff. So as you could see, what does this mean to me? The human side of you. What am I feeling? The mammalian side of you, the, 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 the sheep, the, the, the cow side of you, the, the monkey side of you, or mostly the emotional side of you. And then what do I do? The reptilian side of you, which is a crocodile, the lizard side of you. So do you see that you all, you as a package, when you came to this planet, you are by default in the programming, we have, there are 30,000 questions you could be asking. Of the 30,000 questions you could be asking, the three questions that you ask are deciding 
what you are focusing on. Most of you know what you focus on becomes your reality. Your reality becomes your destiny. So if you are focusing on just that quest, three questions, and if they're not helping you, they are not moving your business to the next level, right? So, so the, the question is, what is a question you ask yourself? Because this is a question that is filtering your experience for you. Maybe you didn't design this question. Somebody else did for you. What is the question that is filtering experience for you? Because it's through those questions, it is through these three questions that you see the world.